All right, hello to you. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whenever you are watching this. And I wanted to come in this morning. I want to talk to you about some of the things that you won't be able to do. <laughs> My wife and I always call it zombie apocalypse. But when we say that, if you guys ever hear me say zombie apocalypse, we always talk about shit hitting the fan. World without rule of law. WWROL, SHTF, you know, so many ways you can you can um, announce it. <laughs> but uh, we always just say zombie apocalypse. But there are going to be a whole bunch of things that you won't be able to do when SHTF happens, okay? Number one, think about everything that you do now and take for granted while doing it. For example, getting up and flipping a light switch, Okay. Getting up and just simply flipping the light switch will not happen when SHTF happens. And I don't know if you've ever been without power. Now, we grew up, we grew up, you know, relatively poor. And all times, you know, we would have our utilities turned off. You know, water would get turned off. Lights would get turned off, you know, etc. We grew up, you know, we grew up poor. And it never failed. And even now when storms happen, or if the power goes out around here, you'll get up just out of habit, out of just routine, you'll get up and you'll hit the light switch. Now, if you think I'm wrong, or if you think I'm lying about it, just try it. Okay? Turn your, turn your main breaker off at your house for a day or two, and see how many, count how many times you actually hit the light switch, um, just out of habit. All right, so that's one thing that you won't be able to do. You won't be able to turn the light switch. Well, you'll be able to hit, hit the light switch, but nothing's going to happen. All right, so that's number one. Number two, things that will not happen during the zombie apocalypse, SHTF. Number two, you won't be able to get fresh fruits and veggies unless you've grown them yourself. And us being plant-based that's going to be um, probably going to be extremely difficult extremely difficult for us because that's the way we eat okay we don't eat all you know raw fresh veggies fruits uh, and veggies but you know majority of our diet is uh, is raw fruits and veggies there's something else that you won't be able to, to get so take advantage of them now. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy your fruits and veggies now because SHTF happens. You won't be able to get them. All right. Things in the grocery store that we like to go and get like our comfort foods. Little Debbie's. Um, soda. A lot of people are addicted to soda. Won't be able to get soda doing SHTF. Uh, what else? What else? So a lot of those things we don't even consume now because we've, um, since January, we ch totally changed our diet. And I, it's funny. Yesterday, my wife was like, we was out, we was going to get gas right at church. And my wife's like, ooh, the Krispy Kreme donut light is on. <laughs> so uh, instantly it triggered a want for Krispy Kreme donuts, right? Instantly. I mean, I was like, okay, instantly. Boom, want it. Do y'all know I went and pumped gas. We went through the drive through and sat there. First of all, it took forever for him to give us some donuts. I don't understand that. Then, when the little girl brings me the, you know, brings me the little box, you know, and I was all excited because they were hot and they were fresh and they were ready right then and all that good stuff. I bit into that donut after the first bite. The next thirty bites were the same. They sucked. Once you get off of normal food like that. And you get to the point where your palate has totally changed and reset and gotten back to the way it's supposed to be. Uh, tasting tasting your food and really enjoying your food. Because right now, trust me, you don't enjoy your food. You're consuming your food. You're not enjoying it. You think you're enjoying it, but you're not. We swore up and down yesterday. We would never, ever, and I'm sorry if, if, if any Krispy Kreme owners or reps are watching this. We would never go back to Krispy Kreme and eat donuts there again because they were nasty okay and this is coming from a perspective of somebody who's been clean 
are living a clean lifestyle, uh, a plant-based lifestyle for the last, what's this, the eighth month? Since January, okay? So, now before, I would order two dozen of, of hot and ready and or hot and fresh or whatever they call them when the light is on. And I would have um, gotten, you know, the uh, specialty donuts too because I really truly used to enjoy the uh, the cream feel, the ice chocolate cream feels. I got one of them yesterday. And then I ate my two donuts. And then my wife, she only ate one. She was like, I can't eat this. And I'm a big proponent of not wasting my money. So even though I did not enjoy them, I still ate them. But they were empty calories. They had absolutely no, zero nutritional value. It was just extras in our diet. This day was a cheat day anyway. And I'll tell you, it was, it was bad. It was bad. So you won't be able to get Krispy Kreme donuts. Uh, at least the, the the fresh and hot ones when the light on, you won't be able to get those anymore. Okay, let's see what else you won't be able to get. Ah, how about this? You won't be able to just go over to the gas station and pump gas. If you want gas, you got to find a gas station that actually has some gas. You're gonna have to break into the uh, containers, the tanks that hold the gasoline. You got to pump the gasoline yourself. Pump it out. You know, with like a hand pump or something. So you won't be able to do that anymore. And depending on how SHTL happens, your vehicle might not work. You know, if we have an EMP, um, it's very possible that your your vehicle is not going to operate. So what are some things that you can do? And I always try to get, leave you guys with some tips of some things that you can, you know, you can do now that's going to better prepare you for the future that may happen. You know, these are things, being a prepper is prepping for things that may or may not happen, okay? That may or may not happen. And I try to teach my little, you know, influence to um, to do and have things that you can still use. You know, a lot of times we get, um, we buy things that we, you know, we, we're using them or we're having them for prepper, type situations and scenarios, but we never use them for everyday life. For example, if you have a generator, okay, if you have a generator, break the generator out every now and then, at least once, I would say once a quarter, bare minimum. Break the generator out, start it up. I like to do it when I'm, when I'm you know, doing, a, doing landscaping. When I do landscaping at my house, when I cut grass, that's usually when I'll, you know, pull out my generator. I'll start it up, make sure it's run, you know, make sure it runs. Plug some things up to it. Make sure it's going to power the things that, you know, that you need. Because uh, really, truly, the only reason I would ever use my generator doing SHTF is one, after several weeks, if not months, after the uh, after the fact. And then I would only use it to charge my batteries if I needed to. If I needed to charge my batteries, that would be the only time that I would actually use it. Okay? But that's a great way of testing, you know, your generator. Test it while you're doing the cutting grass. Um, what else? What else are things that are that you that you're used to that you that you won't be at? Oh gosh, how about a hot cup of Joe that you just instant instant hot cup of Joe? Because you won't have any hot water out your sink, and if you're using hot water, you shouldn't be using hot water to make coffee anyway out your faucet. Um, but if you want hot hot coffee in the future. You're going to have to boil the water and brew it yourself. And I know a lot of people are addicted to coffee. I never was a, a, a big coffee drinker. Even all my years in the Navy, I never did get addicted to, to coffee. And believe it or not, I went through the Navy. And I do curse like a sailor. But I went through the Navy. I never got a tattoo. Can you believe that? I am, ta I am still, at this, at this point, I am tattoo free and have been my whole life. Isn't that amazing? So those are just a few things that... Um, the con a few conveniences that you won't have anymore. So it, they won't be available to you. So start thinking about those things. Think think about things that you know, and and put in the comments other things that won't be available. You know, doing SHTF, WWROL, Zombie Apocalypse. However you want to say it, y'all put some things in the comments for me. And remember, I, I got a contest going on. 
I need some ideas of what I want to give away something. I was thinking about giving away a nice, uh, one of these nice set of knives because these things are awesome. It won't cost me a whole bunch of money. I'm thinking about doing a drawing. Um, very, you know, very soon we're, we're getting close to hitting 100 subscribers. So I just want to do something to give you guys a thank you. It's going to be a drawing. I don't know how to set it up yet. But I'm thinking about doing a very nice set of these uh, Quiznar knives. This, this is a set I use. Um, so you guys, give, you know, shoot, shoot your comments and let me know what you think about that. If it's your first time watching, thank you for being here. And make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell icon. And uh, what else, what else, what else? I love you guys enough to tell you the truth. Y'all be blessed. Take care.